So, we got a bit of a bizarre case here. You know, something that we've seen come out of voice actors, and yeah, here we are again. You know, a fan wanting to give a voice actor they enjoyed, in this case, the voice actor being Brian Drummond. And Brian Drummond just rejected the gift because of the fan's offensive Twitter timeline, in his opinion. Apparently, to him, the fan's timeline was offensive. It's absolutely ridiculous. Hey, what is going on, everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. So, this is a very weird case. Now, for those of you who may not know, Brian Drummond was the voice actor for Vegeta in the Ocean dub, you know, before Funimation took over and then Chris Abbott became Vegeta. And, you know, I have to say, I think uh, Brian Drummond, personally, I've always thought he was a better voice actor uh, than Sabbath, especially uh, thinking that he was a better Vegeta than Sabbath. Now, that's just me, you know, but that's just my opinion on it. Former Dragon Ball Z Vegeta voice actor Brian Drummond rejects gift after judging fans' Twitter timeline offensive. Huh. Oh, here we go again. You know, <laughs> here's the thing. Ever since the whole Vic Mignogna situation that happened last year, and we've seen multiple voice actors, you know, come out and look down on their fans, treat them awful. And the big thing here is, is that with Brian Drummond, you know, he's done something that's very bizarre to me. You know, I don't like how he handled the situation, and I don't think it was a very good one. I think he could have handled the situation a lot better. Brian Drummond, the prolific voice actor known for voicing Miliardo Peacecraft in Gundam Wing, copy Vegeta in Dragon Ball Super, and providing the famous It's Over 9000 line for Vegeta in the Ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z, rescinded an offer to accept a fan gift after presuming the fans' political viewpoints and claiming that their Twitter timeline featured numerous offensive tweets and retweets. You know, I don't see why that would matter, what someone has stated on Twitter when it comes to being a fan and a fan wanting to give you a gift. I don't see the point of going through their Twitter and being like, Oh, well, I don't agree with their politics. Hmm. Nope, nope, not accepting it. Yeah, that's not cool in my opinion. I mean, you know, I don't know why you'd want to dig through someone's tweets like that. It, it's so stupid. I mean, you know, I don't think there's any reason for it, especially when a fan's just wanting to give you a gift. It's so dumb. Twitter user TimCaster91, also known as Mr. Sarcasm, is a fan artist who regularly creates stylized collages composed of various characters voiced by a given voice actor. Now, I think that's cool. You know, I think that's pretty awesome. You know, if somebody was like, oh, hey, you know, uh, I want to make so-and-so for you, will you accept it? I, I would be all for it. That's awesome. You know, that's really cool in my opinion. Once completed... Tim Kester91 shares his work with a featured voice actor and regularly offers to send them an item, such as a t-shirt or coffee mug, displaying the artwork as a token of his fan appreciation. Now, I gotta say, I think that's really awesome. I mean, that is extremely cool. And he's doing this for free, by the way. You know, he's doing this out of appreciating the work that they do. You know, he's a fan of them. You know, he wants to do something cool for them. I think that's awesome. Now, here in these tweets, you know, you have... Various people that are voice actors that he has given, you know, art to that he's done for shirts and whatnot for them. His fan works have been accepted by voice actors such as Fire Emblem, Fates, Corin, female, and Naruto Tintin voice actors, Danielle Judovitz. So there she is, you know, with her shirt. And then uh, David Lodge, best known for voicing Jiraiya in Naruto and various villains throughout the Power Rangers franchise, also accepted a shirt. I think that's awesome. You know, taking all of the characters that they've voiced, putting it on a shirt for them or a coffee mug. I mean, that is super cool. You know, then again, I'm an artist. I love seeing other people's creativity in art. So I think that's awesome when people do something like that. And here's another one. And Naruto, Neji, and Bleach Hitsugaya, actor Steve Staley, also showed off his shirt. See, you know, that's awesome. Like I said, I, I just, you know, I can't get over how cool that actually is. And, you know... It shows how much voice actors can really mean to people, you know? Like, it shows how much people really enjoy the work of a voice actor. And well, voice actors can also be very inspiring to people. But I think how Brian Drummond takes care of the situation isn't very good. So, here we get into this now. 
On June 23rd, Mr. Sarcasm presented one of his collage pieces, this time on a coffee mug to Drummond. Okay, so, you know, he offers this because Drummond didn't want a shirt, so instead he thought, well, how about a coffee mug? You know, states, now I know you said no on the shirt, but would you turn down a coffee mug with your characters on display? So, this looks really cool also. I think that looks pretty awesome. And so, then you have Drummond, who responds by stating this. Now you're talking. Now, see, here's the big thing with this. He seems like he's excited. You know, Brian Drummond's response, you know, seems like a very good one, you know. And it looks like he's looking forward to this bug being sent to him, right? He goes, it seems like he really likes it. Then, of course, you have Mr. Sarcasm, who is reaching out to get his shipping information, you know. But here's where everything takes a turn. And this is what Brian Drummond responds with, which I totally disagree with how Drummond did this whole thing. This is what he responded with. It's nice that you enjoyed my work, Tim, but I won't accept this gift. I just had a look at your timeline, and I was so very sorry to see numerous offensive tweets and retweets. What you say has consequences. Now, these hashtags are extremely weird. Hashtag believe women. Hashtag BLM. Hashtag Trump out 2020. Now, here's the thing about this. All right. With these hashtags, this is going to you know paint a target here, and his fans you know, could come after Mr. Sarcasm and attack him, right? Which is not good. Obviously, that's not called for. It's not good. No reason for that. And, you know, this is what Bounty of the Comics says right here about this whole thing. Drummond's assumption that Mr. Sarcasm does not believe women appears to be based on his support for Vic Mignogna and the Stand with Vic community in the face of the accusations of the issues that happened at the former Dragon Ball Super Broly voice actor. At no point has Mr. Sarcasm ever stated his opinion on the Mignogna events in his blanket view towards hypothetical issues. And, you know, he also talks about, you know, his critical tweets on the BLM movement. And, you know, here's the thing. He doesn't even mention anything at all about President Trump. But for some reason, which is very bizarre, you have Brian Drummond put that in the tweet. Also, like, I don't think there was any reason for these political hashtags to be within the tweet in the response. I also think that, you know, Brian Drummond could have handled this more in the situation of, hey, you know, I don't like to accept gifts this way. Um, you know, I appreciate the offer, though. I mean, I don't think that would have been a bad response. but. There was also no reason for him to even put the political hashtags in there, because like I said, that just paints a target. And that could mean that his fans could then come in there and attack Mr. Sarcasm. I don't think that's called for, because that will just cause more problems. That won't make anything any better. That'll make things worse. And I think that's disappointing, because, you know, Mr. Sarcasm was really hoping to, you know, do something for him. Something for a voice actor he really liked, you know. And this was his statement. I have this too. He signed my Rock the Dragon set five years ago, and I was always the one saying I prefer him over Sabbath any day. I didn't know religious beliefs could make you hate your fans. Well, I don't know anything about religious beliefs, but, you know, I didn't see anything with his tweets of religion. But, you know, I don't think this is a reason to reject a fan gift. You know, I don't even see why <laughs> your fans' political stance would even matter. That's another big thing, you know. I don't see why that would matter either. You know, I, I just think that, you know, when your fan just is like, hey, here's a gift, you know, if they're doing something nice for you, I, I just think that, you know, it'd be cool to accept it, you know. But I think Drummond could do a little better here. Now, he does respond, and this is what he says. Please read my original reply to you, Tim. I said nothing of religious beliefs, zero, and nothing of hating you. Absolutely not. I found some of your tweets offensive and therefore said I won't accept a gift. These are my beliefs. You don't have to agree. I'm sorry you were hurt by this. See, here's the thing, though, that I don't agree with Brian Drummond here either. Just because somebody has a different political view than you, I don't think that that's any reason for you to view someone differently. I don't think that that's right. I don't think that's very fair. And I don't understand why Drummond, you know, put that in there. You know, it's just those hashtags, those political hashtags are so weird. 
And I think that he could have responded a lot better than this because, you know, he could have just said, you know, as I stated, you know, he could have been like, sorry, I don't accept gifts this way. Or, um, you know, maybe if we ever meet up again or something or, you know, no thanks. Uh, I appreciate the offer. You know, like I'm flattered or something, you know, it, that could have been handled so much better. The way that he did it, though, I just don't agree at all. Like, <laughs> I think that could have been handled better. But apparently, at this point, we're to the day and age that, uh, you know, if you say something that somebody doesn't agree with, apparently uh, they're going to choose to uh, not accept your gift, apparently, it seems. I mean, that's, I don't know. It's just not right to me. I don't think Brian Drummond was right here. I think that he could have handled the situation completely different. Like, you know, just in a complete different way. And... I think it's just kind of sad for Mr. Sarcasm that Brian Drummond treated him this way, but, you know, it's just with putting those political hashtags also, you're just enlisting people to go after him. That's also another thing. Now, I'm not saying that Brian Drummond did that to have people attack him. I'm not saying that. I'm not claiming that. But some people will look at it that way because, you know, people do type in those hashtags. And, you know, when they see stuff like that, yeah, that could potentially start an attack, you know, from Twitter. And so, you know, I think Drummond could have definitely handled the situation better. And, you know, Mr. Sarcasm, you know, what he does is a pretty awesome thing. And I, I do feel bad for him on the situation. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you are still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like. And also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated. And it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on Discord. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the news videos will be released, as well as any other upcoming events in the near future. So be sure to follow me on Discord. The link is in the description down below. But anyways, I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today. And remember, if today was not a good day, tomorrow could always be better. Take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And have yourselves a good one out there, everybody.